Um, anyways, so that's the deal. So let's plow ahead here, everybody. Let's plow ahead. What else do we got here? What else do we got here? Hey, Bill, how's it going? Uh, I was wondering if you could give me some advice. So I've been dating this girl for about five months now, and everything's been good, except she keeps bringing up how shitty my car is. I'm a 19-year-old college student who pays for everything pretty much on my own. Uh, I work almost 40 hours a week, and I'm also a full-time student. And she's giving you shit about your car. I don't even need to read the rest of this. Dump her. She's fucking high-maintenance. And when you propose to her and give you the ring, you know, it better be bigger than all of her girlfriends or she's going to be a cunt about it. I don't even need to re- read the rest of this. I will, you know, because you, you made the effort to type it out, but I don't need to re- read the rest of it. Dump her. You're 19 years old. You're like five years away from meeting the girl that you're going to be fucking marrying. So why don't you dump this fucking cunt and go out and start talking shit to girls that you think are out of your league? All right? Because one of them's going to say yes. And you know what? You're going to be banging her pretty soon. Who knows? She might not even, she, you know. Dude, you know what? It's almost, you know what? As you become more successful, I would keep that car. You said it's a 92 Buick Century. I would keep that fucking car and use that as your Bronx tail lock the door test. Girl gets in there and starts turning her nose up at it. Dump her. In your early 20s, that's how I would use it. I mean, if you're driving that in your 30s, I mean, you're going to look like a fucking loser and you can't get mad if a girl's like, um, you're 35 and your car is 37. So, yeah, I don't think I like that math. Um, anyways, Bill, I had my car in 92 Buick Century for about something years. You forgot to put the number of years. And I've replaced many parts in the car since I've gotten it. And, yeah, maybe it's not in the best shape, but it gets me from point A to point B. It's reliable and is pretty good on gas. Dude, you know what you're doing right now? You're doing what you got to do to get to the next level. You know what some douchebag does? He drops out of college to get some fucking bullshit job at UPS unloading trucks so he can go out and buy a new flashy car. And you know what? Not to bring up a Bronx tale again, but there you go. That's that moment where they fucking lock the bar door and they go, now you can't leave. Now you can't leave UPS because you got to pay off that shiny fucking car. And you know what? For the rest of your life, you're wearing brown. All right, my girlfriend hates my car, though she doesn't really like me driving her around and keeps telling me to buy a new one. I've even heard one of her friends tell me how much she dislikes my car. Dude, you know what your next upgrade should be on this car? Uh, One T-top on her side and an ejection seat in the passenger side. The next time she brings it up, oh my God, I hate this car. It's dirty. It's ugly. What is that red button for? I don't know. Why don't you push it, you fucking twat? Um, last week I told her I was going to buy an 05 Civic off of Craigslist and she seems overly excited about it and kept asking me if I was going to buy it or not. I ended up not buying it. Good fucking man. Good man. Good fucking man. Sorry, I had to walk that one off. Goddamn fucking, I mean, not, uh, not all women, but this bitch here, this fucking bitch right here, this girl is putting a fucking financial noose around your neck. And you know what, dude? You were strong enough not to be in that. Ooh, keep it happy. Keep it happy so it still fucks me. Fuck her. Jerk off and keep the 92 Buick. What a cunt. Overly excited with shiny shit. Why don't you ball up some tinfoil and fucking throw it right in her... F- uh, forget it. It's too mean. All right. Let's just... <laughs> oh, dude, you know what? You know, right now, I bet a lot of women are listening like, why does this guy... Or maybe they're not. Maybe they understand. Why is this guy reacting like this? Because I'm going to tell you something. There are so many fucking talented guys out there, okay, who didn't get where the fuck they wanted to be in life because they allowed someone like this to convince them to buy a fucking 05 Civic. And then they had to stay at their fucking day job rather than being able to slowly fucking quit it and get their business going, get their band going, get whatever the fuck they want to get going. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this girl is a selfish fucking cunt. Get her out of your life. So anyways, he goes, I ended up not buying it. Dude, I got to tell you something right now. That moment in your life could be like when John Lennon met Paul McCartney. Do you understand the fact that you didn't fucking do that? That is like you're in a barrel about ready to go over the fucking waterfall and you somehow saw a low-lying branch. You did a fucking pull-up despite the fact that no one thinks any, any American can do one in this country and you got yourself out of there. Good for you. Good for you. All right. I ended up not buying it because the guy wanted a little bit too much money for it. Oh, Jesus Christ. So you totally lucked out. So you didn't reach up and grab the branch. It accidentally caught your shirt, and you sat there hanging there like a drowned rat until the fucking fireman fished you out. Either way, you didn't do it. So good for you. 
And I'd rather get my money's worth on something different is what he says. So I'm trying to make a decision here because, yeah, within the next year or two, I will need a new car. But my girlfriend has been such an immature bitch about it. I never thought I would be into someone who places so much value on material bullshit like cars. And what makes people think about us when we roll up? Oh, in my car. Oh, she's worried about what people think. Dude, she doesn't worry. She's not worried about what people think of you guys when you pull up. She's worried about herself. Um, for fuck's sakes, he says, I'm going to school to be a teacher and everyone knows they get paid in fucking peanuts. So if she's into money. Perhaps I should just nip this in the butt right here. Then again, maybe she's, maybe I'm just being lazy and I should go find a more respectable car. Dude, fuck that. Fuck that, dude. Dude, you know who she is right now? She's Sharon Stone in Casino. That's who the fuck she is. This chick is going to fucking cheat on you, you know, and she's going to leave you, dude, when you are drowning in debt and shiny shit that you didn't fucking need, okay? And the ride is over and none of it's in her name and her na- her credit's fine. She's going to go down to the bank and take out her million dollars in jewelry or whatever. She's fucking walking just like Sharon Stone, all right? Kick, get, get her out of your life. Get her out of your life. Just sit down and just say, listen, you're more into cars than you are in me. And I just think you're really a uh, materialistic, selfish person. And uh, you're going to make someone miserable. And guess what, sweetheart? It's not going to be me. You know what? You don't even have to be that mean. Just tell her you're not happy. You're not happy. And you know, I know you're not happy with me either. I think you need a guy who can afford a nicer car. If I've learned anything from you, sweetheart, over the last six months is what you really are looking for in a man Good husband, good father, somebody who can buy a nice car. So why don't you – this is what I would do, sweetheart. Why don't you go dress like a whore, and if you want to get that car quick enough, dress like a whore, go down to a steakhouse. Go find one of those fucking uh, 65-year-old independently wealthy guys. Let him take you for a few spins around the block. Suck his old fucking dick and get your goddamn car, but get out of my life. There you go. Dump that bitch. Oh, my.